Back at it again, folks, with another game day video. Listen, you read that title, I'm gonna tell you again, garlic parmesan party wings. Let's get it. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we wanna preheat our oven, right? So we wanna preheat it to 400 degrees. Once you get over here, I want you to see how I got this broke down. I'll move that out of the way. Look, I got these ingredients right here. This is everything that I use to put on the wings, right? This is how we're gonna coat it, the uh, cornstarch, all of that. I got the parm. You come over here, look, I put it on this color board so you guys can see. This I'm gonna give you, listen, all of this is a dump and go. We gonna make an epic blue cheese dressing. All right, first thing you wanna do is get yourself a bowl and you wanna, look, I separated it like this. These are all the ingredients that I need for right now, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and add my parm. I'm gonna add everything that you see right here, you know, to it. Get yourself a whisk. And then if you ever made these before or you've seen them, you know, even just seen the wings, look, when you look at this right here, that kind of like tells you he must be on to the right thing because this is how they look, right? This is all how it is, what you need to put on prior to, you know, putting it inside of the uh, oven. If it becomes a little thick, I don't know, for whatever reason, you know what I mean? But you can see it kind of like comes off. It is thick. You can always add just a little bit of olive oil to it. Just a little bit, you know, till you can get what you see right here. Right, so now I'm gonna bring my wings. What I'm gonna do is, I've already patted them dry earlier, but I'm gonna go ahead and give them another, a little, you know, work around. After you're done doing that, that process, that step, right? Just go ahead and just add this, because look, we wanna just make sure each one of your wings, you know, is coated. Last but not least, before I go ahead and start coating them with the, you know, with the uh, cornstarch, just like I'm gonna go ahead and just crush these. And I kinda like give them an open crust like that. There's gonna be a method to this madness, folks. I could dice them, but you never notice when you put garlic in like that in the oven or you frying it or cooking it, you know what happens to it. You know what I mean? It turns, gives you those little ugly black looking things, right? So here, if we do them this way, all right? Watch this. Now I get back in here with my hand and I massage it this way. Look, now you wanna just keep doing this. Make sure garlic touches it all. This is where you get that garlic -y flavor, flavor to it. And I mean, just trust the process on this one, folks. Then as you take them and put them on the sheet, you know what I mean, you can just go ahead and remove them. But these are already open. You know what I mean? Everything is getting rubbed, you know, with some garlic. All right, so it should look like this. I went ahead, kept massaging it, got it right there. Oh, you can smell nothing but that garlic. Ooh, this right here is right. Now, go ahead and take your cornstarch and just go ahead and give it a little sprinkle. Look, the cornstarch is what helps it, you know, be crispy, folks. You know what I mean? So, I just saved something back. I'm gonna get in here, All right? Just keep giving it, you know, a toss. All right, so look, now you wanna get yourself a baking sheet, right? You see how I got this cooling rack? I put this inside of that, and notice I put some aluminum foil. You guys are thanking me if you didn't know, because listen, it make you clean up way, way better, folks. Now, I'm starting to stage these really like skin side down, right? So we'll just put them like this. Now, when we put them in the oven, we're gonna put them in there for about 20 minutes. You know what I mean? Yeah, 20 minutes, but the whole total time would be about 45, you know, to 40 minutes, right? But the reason we do that, I'm telling you 20, because we got to come back and take a look at them. Then we got to flip them over. You know what I mean? And listen, notice I got space in here. And my oven I'm using is a convection oven, folks. That makes a difference. You know what I mean? You can do regular baking or you can do convection however you want to do it. On this one right here, I'm going to go ahead and do, you know, convection. And remember, I said skin side down. How many of y'all talk to me down there in the comment section below? I like to have, uh, like to have these flats. Okay, so look, this is how it is. Don't forget, you don't want to have nothing touching or nothing like that. I think that I see this one right here trying to cheat. So I'm going to scoot it over. Maybe that's his girl. I don't know. But we're going to separate that. Now we're going to go in that oven. Don't forget, total of about 40 to 45 minutes. But we're going to go ahead and flip them over after 20. All right, folks. We're going back in. This time I'm going to go in for 25 minutes, just looking the way they are. All right. Okay, so look, now I'm gonna give you a bonus. If you guys wanna like know how to make a good blue cheese, you know, dressing right here, then this is it right here. I'm gonna hold this back, but look what I'm gonna do. I'm getting ready to put all of this in here. Look, it's a dump and go. Don't forget, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. But you guys, I'm sure, can look at that and tell 
that is mayo. You can look at this and tell this is what? That's right, sour cream. A little milk, a little powder. I'll let you guys guess and see what it is. Tell me what you think it is, but don't forget everything is down there. I'm gonna put a little bit of this, you know, chive in the inside and a little vinegar. And then we're just gonna mix it all together. Look at it, folks. All right, so you see that right there? Look at that. You can see the crumbles of the blue cheese. You see it? Mm -hmm. That's it right there. Look at that. Yes, sir. Now, we'll just leave that there. This is done. Let me go ahead and take this out. Now that we have that out, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. I'm gonna hit broil, and I wanna bring this up. That'll put it on high. Once I get my temperature right, we're only gonna go in the oven for two to four minutes. Okay, folks, after looking at all of this, I know you're saying like, mm, AB always got to fire. This is true. And if you, oh, I didn't already put the parm on there, but I don't know if you can hear. As I put them down, I can feel they crunchy. You know, so we're just gonna put a platter out like this. You know what I mean? We're gonna get ready for that game. You know what I mean? Uh, here, let me be quiet. Listen to this. You hear that right there? Didn't I tell you guys it was gonna be crispy? And right now I feel like I'm over talking and doing all that. I'm just gonna remove this bone like this. So you guys can see, it's cooked all the way through. I don't know how y'all eat y'all wings, but this is how I get down. You know why? Because I want to get all of that, the meat, the crunchiness, the Parmesan, the dip. And guess what, folks? Cheers. That right there was fire, folks. Hey, tell me down in the comment section below, did you like the way I broke that down? Hey, when you cook them just right, all right let me get that off of there. When you cook them just right, they should clean and be just like that, you see. You know what I mean? Pull them bones out, dip it in whatever, or better yet, don't dip them at all. But this right here, you're gonna wanna make a whole lot of this. You can put this in an uh, a airtight like mason, uh, mason jar. This will last you up to like two weeks. Now, with that being said, don't forget, let me know what you guys would uh, have this with. Tell me who your favorite uh, football player is or football team, all of that. I'll be reading them comments. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and hold up, folks. I'm finna do something right now. Hey, Daddy, come on over here, man. You know what I mean? Hey, he didn't even know I was gonna do this, but if you guys haven't seen Daddy's Kitchen, if you're talking about doing something on the Jamaican side, hey, I'm hey, sorry, man. man. God bless, God bless, God bless. That's, that's right, that's right. Hey, listen, look out for the videos because me and him are going to drop something epic, folks. And guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace.